for a fiber drop? Well, the first step is the customer has to apply for service. And then our engineering group takes a look at it. Well, once the engineering group designs it, then they put it into our uh, electronic system that the maps that goes through customer service. Any permits are applied for that are required. And once all of that stuff clears, then it's, uh, it's moved into the construction status. We are provided the orders, which, and what comes with that is uh, a map draw of the customer's property. We coordinate uh, getting the materials. We make sure that we are sending the appropriate crew. Does the drop have to be plowed in or does the drop have to be drilled in? So we want to make sure that we hand it off to the employees that have the proper skill set. And then it's just all about coordination and with the locates, the timing of getting them scheduled. If there's a special circumstance where the customer needs to be called, we coordinate that with the customer. And then just the timeliness of being able to get out there in the area and get it accomplished. Communication is key in our field and just talking back and forth, making sure we're on the same page. I get all the jobs assigned to me on my iPad. We go to the job, I, I take pictures of the job site before and afterwards. A pre-job briefing, I take a picture of that, I put that on there. Enter all the information on like the cable count, what I've done, what kind of cable I put in, how many feet, and then from here it actually gets to go straight to the techs so they can come out and splice everything in. And I think uh, you'll be happy with the finished product. <laughs>